Have you ever noticed how taking a deep breath or humming a tune can help you feel calmer? That's your body's built-in vagal break at work. It's part of your nervous system that can slow your heart rate, regulate your breathing, and help you stay connected and present, even in stressful situations. Today, we're diving into what the vagal break is, why it matters, and how you can strengthen it to feel calmer and more in control. Inside your body is a complex bundle of nerves known as the vagal nerves, which are the main nerves of your parasympathetic nervous system. Vagus comes from the Latin for wander, and these nerves really do wander throughout the body, controlling specific bodily functions such as your digestion, heart rate, and immune function. One particular branch of the vagus nerve connects directly to the heart's natural pacemaker, called the sinoatrial node, where it helps regulate heart rate and rhythm. Without this vagal input, the heart's pace could increase uncontrollably. Because this branch can slow the heart and regulate its rhythm, it's often referred to as the vagal break. The vagus nerve and the parasympathetic nervous system work in opposition to the sympathetic nervous system. To understand how, imagine your body is a car. Your sympathetic nervous system is the gas pedal. It speeds everything up, including heart rate, breathing, and energy, so you can respond to challenges through fight or flight. But too much gas without control can lead to stress, anxiety, or overreaction. In contrast, the vagal brake slows things down, helping to keep the body safe and regulated. Pressing the brake lowers heart rate, reduces stress signals, supports rest and digest, and promotes social engagement. However, if the brake is applied too strongly, the body may become sluggish or disengaged. Just like driving, you're not meant to slam the gas or the brake all the time. You continuously balance them to control your speed. The vagal brake allows some sympathetic energy through when needed, while preventing the system from spinning out of control. When the brake relaxes, the heart and body speed up. When it re-engages, the body slows back down again, like letting off the gas and pressing the brake. And unlike a real car, all of this happens through electrical signals and neurotransmitters instead of mechanical parts. When the vagal brake is working well, you can move through a spectrum of feelings like calm, playfulness, alertness, or watchfulness, all without losing that underlying sense of safety. But without the vagal brake, That grounding in safety and connection is gone, and the nervous system shifts more easily into protective fight-or-flight responses. When you strengthen your vagal break, you become more able to stay grounded under stress and respond to others with empathy. Think of it like being a skilled driver. The more you practice using your break, the more smoothly you can control your internal speed. Over time, this practice gives you more flexibility in how you respond to life's challenges, letting you handle stress, recover quickly, and stay balanced. Here are some simple ways to do that. One, slow breathing, especially long exhales that signal your body is safe. Two, humming, chanting, or singing, which stimulate the vagus nerve through vibrations from your vocal cords. Three, mindful presence, like noticing your surroundings, grounding yourself with sensory cues, or connecting with someone you feel safe with. One of the simplest ways to engage your vagal break is belly breathing. Place one hand on your chest and one on your belly and notice which moves first. Let your belly rise gently as you inhale and fall slowly as you exhale. Try breathing in for four seconds and out for six seconds, or whatever pace feels comfortable for you. This sends a powerful message to your brain that you're safe, slowing your heart, and calming your body. Practice this several times a day, not just during times of stress, to strengthen your vagal tone. Your vagal brake is your body's built-in brake system that helps you stay calm, connected, and in control. Simple practices like slow breathing, humming, or mindful presence can strengthen it and help you move through life with more ease and flexibility. If you'd like a crash course on the vagus nerve, check out my video, Polyvagal Theory Made Simple. And if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe so I can make more videos like this in the future.